Hi guys. I think I know what this is. I'm pretty sure it is our wedding gift from my brother. Yes it is. It is our sink for the camper van. It's actually a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. That's so good. There you go. <laughs> and it comes with all the fixtures as well. So like here is the plug. Okay, so we've got the like a plug here that goes on top. But then inside, it's got this little basket so you don't get any of the bits and pieces in your water tank. Perfect. Right, so that is going to go in the loft with the rest of the stuff. I discovered recently um, more about being vegan and kind of the animal cruelty side of things. So it's not just what is in your food that you have to be aware of. Um, also like toiletries, cosmetics, um, household products and stuff like that um, can have animal products in. Uh, for instance, did you know that it's possible that toilet roll has gelatine in it? I didn't know, hadn't got a clue. Um, so I have found out that Superdrug all of their own products are cruelty free and vegan. Um, so whilst Chris and Charlie aren't going to be vegan, which I understand, I've asked that they use cruelty free and vegan toiletries because what benefit do you have by using toiletries that do contain animal products? I can't think of any occasion where that might be the case. So I made a trip to Superdrug today and picked up deodorant and uh, body shower gel and also like a, a shampoo. So um, they've got all the stuff. Now I'm not just like chucking everything out because I just think that is too extreme. So we're just going to use up the products that we've got and then over time um, just replace them with cruelty free products. Okay, everyone's getting out of the car, but this evening, oh, let me, okay, this evening we're going to Pizza Express because Chris and I have been together for four years, so we are celebrating being family, and I just go to see Charlie like running in the background, so I'm gonna go and catch up with them now. Happy anniversary! <laughs> Happy family anniversary! Four years today! Woo! Charlie's excited for pizza! <laughs> Socks has started doing this really weird thing where it's like he's trying to bury his food. He never did it before. I'd say he's probably started it in the last month. It's really, really odd and I just don't know why. Like I know like they bury, like in the wild, they bury food and their poo and stuff like that because predators will smell it. But it's odd, I mean, Maybe he's being bullied by another cat or something. I don't know, maybe maybe another cat's coming in the house. I hope not. He's eating it now. You are an oddball, aren't you, Socks? Hmm? You an oddball.
I have just done my final trip to Dunelm for the next few weeks anyway. So I've got the fabric for our bed and also I've bought a, a like a mattress topper so it's gonna kind of pull all of those mattresses together um, and kind of just smooth out those ridges that we're gonna be sleeping on so. I'm at the garage and I'm hoping, oh, if I walk in I don't fall over, but as soon as I say that I fall over. Way, right, okay. Okay, I'm locked in, that's good. So, we've got light and we have space as well. I'll show you over here. Look how much space we have now. It's so good. We managed to sell the bar that Chris made for our wedding. So we got, I mean, it didn't cost us really anything, I don't think, apart from maybe like the screws and then that's it. Um, but a lot of time went into it. So um, yeah, we got a fair, a fair amount for that really. And it means we can actually work in here now. Right, let me turn that one off. Um, oh, how do you turn it off? It's flashing. <laughs> there we go now i keep our like overflow um household i can't think of what it's called like the how our household stuff like we've got um food in here and we've got washing up and stuff like that so this is my washing up liquid but it is so cold here that it has gone it's frozen it's not normally that color it's normally clear no, I'm not going to be able to even squeeze that. Look, it's not moving at all. <laughs> and I need to wash up. This is the dangerous bit, getting out. Okay, I'm out. We need like a light that's on the door. Now normally we've got a, like a security light up here. There it is. But we've had to turn it off because the van, when it like flaps in the rain, or oh, sorry, flaps in the wind, it's just like on and off, on and off. So that doesn't really work for us. Um, but yeah, I think we need to come up with a solution because I know that I'm gonna fall over. Plus there's like the patio goes down onto some steps um, just beside where you go into the garage. So the likelihood is, is one day I'm gonna misjudge it and I'm just gonna fall down those steps. Although, it is getting lighter out there. Um, it's pretty much light until like half past five. And we've only got like six more weeks maybe and the clocks go back, so it won't be too bad. And obviously the van, the van will be close to being done then. Yeah, look at this. It's not coming out. I'm gonna have to like unscrew the lid. Oh, actually, there's a cover on it. So that probably doesn't help, does it? <laughs> Just wipe it off. <laughs> oh dear. It'll be fine tomorrow. Tomorrow, it will all be defrosted.